What's it like doing first ascents with Nate? Well, it's fun as shit. <laughs> Me and Nate have been friends for a long time. He was one of the first people I really started climbing with. We've been climbing together for more than 10 years, so we get along really well. Hey, my name's Nate. Uh, I live in Boone. I started going to school here in 2006. Moved back here last October to do a bunch of boulders. <laughs> My roommate, Cody, that I was living with this summer got real psyched on riding dirt bikes. And after living with him for like a couple weeks, I got real psyched on riding dirt bikes, ended up buying a dirt bike and spent like a good bit of the summer just kind of like ripping around on the bikes, looking for new boulders, riding trails and shit. And that specific, like the Whiskey Throttle Boulder, uh, me and Cody actually like found it riding dirt bikes on this trail that we'd heard about. They told me it was sick, we went out there, and I was like, all right, cool, let's, let's go do it. Nice in, dude. Later. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your ride. Peace, Brad. Access around Boone is is kind of finicky, but it to me it's one of the last like special areas in the country. There are no guidebooks in Boone. I think that's the best way to do things. It allows people to, to still build a community and feel like they're a part of a community without just buying a guidebook and going somewhere. A lot of times, like like a lot of places, especially in Boone, just cannot, they couldn't handle parking if there was a guidebook. For me, what makes Boone such a good bouldering spot is the isolation. There is a pretty small group of climbers in Boone. You know the people you're gonna run into. There's not big groups. You're not waiting in line to get on. The other thing that I really like about bouldering in Boone would be the rock. I think the rock quality is incredible. The only downfall is that there's a lot of rain, which is probably why the rock is so good. I feel like the hardest part about establishing first ascents Kind of a combination of you know you have to find the line you might have to break off a bunch of choss clean up a ton of dirt remove a ton of moss build a whole landing Ooh, give me that dude locust locust i only build landing with locust it just takes a lot of work to make something what you see it as when you and your friends show up I think a big part about doing first ascents is just having the vision to look at a piece of rock that hasn't been climbed and to see a really cool line or to see something that is gonna end up being really cool. And, you know, developing that vision, I think is the hardest part about putting up first ascents. Taylor's really good at being able to see like what something can become when you're just looking at like a dirty wall. 
It's already getting really psyched. This one's roadside. This <laughs> thing is really good. The movement's cool. It's one of those that the, the landing's not scary. So for me, I think of like, hey, I've got two hours to go rock climbing today. I got two pads. I'm by myself. This one's 15 minutes away. 20 second walk from the car. Sick. Let's go try it. Rush hour was that. When I'm looking for new Rock and Boone, there's usually like one of two or three ways that I go about it. A lot of places you can look on Google Earth and kind of get a feel for the area, and Boone, it doesn't really work at all. There's so much evergreens and rhododendron that don't die in the winter that like looking on Google Earth, you, just, you can't see shit, like you can't see anything. The other way that I've put up a lot of first ascents is just through word of mouth about old projects. It's really cool to be able to like pick the old schoolers brains and have them kind of give you the beta on things that they've seen like maybe 20, 30 years ago. Sometimes they're not as worth it, but most of the time they're pretty sick and I'll get psyched and we'll go out there and try them. Matney, that was another one Taylor was just riding around one day. Went down some dirt road, saw some roadside thing in Banner Elk. It turned out to be this really cool, like, maybe V9 or 10 thing with a sick jump to a jug at the end. Yeah. I like had this thing like shit. It looks hard for you to get the foot. That's fucking bad. Oh my god. Cool move, dude. Solid, solid social distancing summer of hanging in the south. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> Star, Lila. <laughs>